Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. And today, we're going to be hopping into a film called House. This one is made in 1977. And this is, again, another film I have no idea about. Never heard of it. Um, but I'm excited to jump into it because we are focusing on an element of film, and that is locations, that is production design, settings. Um, if you notice the films that we've watched on this channel, over the past couple of weeks have been related to that, you know? Um, so just in case if you haven't, uh, definitely go back, check some of the films out and look at it from that lens because I'm pretty sure you can probably pick up a lot of value, not just within the commentary, but just for yourself as well too, now that you have the question in mind. But I'm excited to see how the, this, this film uh, in, engulfs that um, kind of, you know, the conversation that we were just having, you know, how does the setting transform our characters? How does the setting transform the story? Uh, does the setting embody the themes of the story? And in some cases, how does it become a character in itself? And we've saw plenty of examples where it took all those things that I just said, and they captivated on those things. Some films have done uh, more subtle gestures than others, but that doesn't mean that there is less of intention that goes behind the impacts of these settings, so, which is why I am really excited to jump into this film because I'm just wondering what this house is, right? Um, I'm wondering how this house is going to fit in the overall theme of things when it comes to the conversation again that we're talking about. So again, I'm excited to jump into this. Like always, guys, if you wanna be able to check out more, especially get some early access on some of the TV shows that we're watching, we're definitely doing a good bet. Check out the Patreon. It's usually the best way to support this channel. You can also support the channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And at the end of the day, you don't have to do any of those things. Just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into house. I hope you guys are doing all good. I hope you guys are hanging in there today. Um, you know, I hope you guys are drinking a lot of water and enjoying yourselves you know, as best as you possibly can in your own way. So, again, if you want to be able to watch and hear all that I have to say about these films, check out the Patreon link below. You can sync up your copy of the film with mine and have yourself a time. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. What the heck? <laughs> That's cool. I feel like I'm about to hop into a Scooby-Doo episode. A lot of unique things happening. That was pretty cool. This is definitely giving me some art house vibes. And I'm happy that it's also foreign as well, too. I was not expecting that. I'm getting weird vibes from this, man. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but the overlapping of music and the audio, is just it's giving me weird vibes. I'm, I'm afraid that something horrific is about to happen. <laughs> Bro, what is this? <laughs> what? What is this? I feel like I'm in a fever dream right now. Like something off of Adult Swim or something. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm really loving the camera movement too. As insane as this is right now, the camera movement is pretty baller. Damn, homie caught a. <laughs> homie caught a baddie, bro. <laughs> what? He's like, listen, daughter, I have to tell you something. <laughs> I went overseas, I came back, and I called me a buddy. <laughs> okay, what the heck? I don't know if you guys heard of this series, but there's an anime called Monogatari that is doing some similar things like this with the editing and the shots and the frames cutting into each other it's cool i like it when be you know people can just break the foundation i think that's awesome Mama. that's 
It's interesting. So this story is like, you know, already our character is dealing with the difficulties of moving on because her mother passed away. The father has now found himself <laughs> a new girl. I'm just wondering how the house is going to play a part in this because this is already a, a very interesting film. I can't piece it together right now, and that's kind of exciting. That's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Man, that is awesome. I love this. That is so interesting. That's so interesting. It definitely reminds me of, like, you know, French cinema. It really does. Cat! Oh! That is a cute kitty. <laughs> cool thing about this style is that it like because the transitions are just blending and fading in with one another and they've you know set that up so it's not jarring all the time uh, the movement of just the story it just blurs itself I don't even know how far I'm into the story usually I have a, a somewhat of a notion of time but this is just so like stitched together in a way where it's just one long thread. <laughs> Bro, what is this film, fam? <laughs> what is this film? I am in an acid trip in Japan. <laughs> Bro, what? First off, do you guys know how long that probably took to actually do? <laughs> I hope you guys can realize just how long that bit right there probably took to do. Because <laughs> I do. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> They're like, yo, this cat you see it yo i still get this weird feeling that there is just some some horrific undertone that's just waiting to cut through this i don't know why maybe it's because we watch some dark stuff i don't know <laughs> this is just too good <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, I'm sensing a unique mystery here. Okay, so her aunt, her aunt, you know, is still waiting on her husband. And then the mother died. I'm just piecing it together. I don't know what, I don't know if this could be just true or not. I don't know. I feel like there's been mentions of which that, that's come up here and there. But who knows? This might just be. This this might be a dark story. I don't know. The aunt might be on some ish right now. Cause maybe she might be jealous. I don't know. Jealous that her like oh, the husband can move on. I'm just I'm just throwing options out. <laughs> Yo, I gotta say, there is something about the the vibes and the aesthetic of 1970s Tokyo, Japan. Like, what? If you ever, if you guys ever want to get put onto a vibe, just like have commercials, like Pepsi commercials of <laughs> Tokyo in the 1970s. Listen, they were styling. All right, they were styling out. It's a good vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is so cool. Like, what? I've never seen anything like this. It's so cool. Mama, 
<laughs> yeah, this is about to get creepy, man. <laughs> this is this is about to get real sacrificial. I just feel it, man. I feel it in my bones. This is such a cool way of shooting it, though. If what I'm thinking is correct, this is such a awesome way of just like telling this story. <laughs> Yo, what, what, <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Throughout that montage, I just seen a cat just get launched in the air. <laughs> Yo, even the audio just is, is doing some crazy stuff, man. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear it on your end. Um, but if you got headphones, you definitely know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of weird things happening with this entire film. This entire film is just sketch. <laughs> Yo, who's chucking that cat? <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What are you, lady? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What's she about to pull up? <laughs> oh. Oh. That's what I think it is. What the f- You better get the hell out this house, girl! What is- What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, she can walk now. What the heck? Y'all need to get that- Y'all need to first off, stomp this old lady out. And leave this place. Yo, do I have to assume? Yo, yeah, this girl is freaking crazy, dude. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm watching right now. <laughs> she is such a troll, yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like... How how long does one have to go before they start noticing some really weird ish, man? Hey yo, I know she is not getting attacked by logs right now, and she just owned them. What the heck? <laughs> what the? F <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, she is a freaking troll. <laughs> she is really trolling this girl. <laughs> and you out here fourth wall breaking? What the f- <laughs> Yo, this girl is just on another level. Oh, so what's gonna happen with the mirror? <laughs> I mean, they really took what we talked about in the intro and really just pimped it out. Like, this entire house is a character. Every setting, every location they've been in, they've been they've been tweaking with it. <laughs> what, man? What? What the heck? Oh my god. I can't even begin to interpret. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not gonna lie, this is a brutal pillow fight. That's the first time, this is the first time I'm seeing a actual brutal pillow fight. <laughs> You guys see what I'm saying, man? I think it's because I'm better, I'm better equipped with stuff like this, like Adult Swim, Eric Andre. You know, <laughs> it's just crazy that I'm relating it to those type of shows, but that's literally what's happening. <laughs> Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Her soul got swapped. That's what I'm noticing here. Because every time she's, like, playing, it's like you hear the sounds of gunfire, which makes me think of, like, the grandmother's um, uh, passing a relationship with her lover before he got drafted. <laughs> This Kung Fu girl is hilarious, man. <laughs> if there's anyone I want with me, if I'm ever trapped in a haunted mansion, it's definitely Kung Fu girl. <laughs> this is why I can't be in horror films, okay? Yo, that piano just ate her fingers, bruh. What the heck? Oh no! I know she ain't getting eaten by the piano, my guy. No way. <laughs> Melody's cracked out. We gotta kill her. <laughs> I would turn back to the group and be like, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Melody got ate by the piano. She's laughing. I say we kill her and burn the piano. House made. Oh man. This is giving me uh I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. Um Damn, what is that film called? With the ballerinas and the dancing and they're actually just like a pack of witches? I forgot what that film's called. That's going to destroy my mind. <laughs> oh, Suspiria. That's what it is. The original one. With the lighting and the coloring as well as the setting. Yo, I, I'm i on a fever dream, man. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. Girls, girls, let me tell y'all something. If there's anything y'all can learn from this film, just let go. Let it go. <laughs> let go. Let go of him. Let go of her. Move on, my God. <laughs> Yo, Kung Fu Girl is so dope. <laughs> She's out here boxing items. <laughs> This girl is freaking dope, man. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> she hit a pose right before she did it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this is awesome, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I love cats, but even the cat got a R.I.P. itself. Yo, did she? <laughs> Kung Fu is just a legend. We need, we need Kung Fu to be remembered. <laughs> no way 
Did she just kill this thing with just her lower body? <laughs> okay, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what? Not gonna lie, I hate that my girl Kung Fu is gone. She was, uh, she was an OG. <laughs> oh my god. He turned into bananas. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, this film is incredible. <laughs> Oh, damn. Everybody is dead. That guy got turned into bananas. Whew. Oh, you want to come into my house, cat? <laughs> huh? You want to go into my cat house? My, my, my house that is actually the digestive system of a cat? You want to come in here? <laughs> Nah. Nah, I don't like the love you're talking about. Guys, that is the end to house. What the? <laughs> All right, everybody, we just got done house. Man, what? <laughs> Yo, this film was actually really funny. <laughs> I don't know if it was trying to be funny, but... It definitely was to me. There were some moments where I just genuinely laughed. First off, it did a great job at what we were talking about in the intro. When we were talking about production design setting, there was a combination of Evil Dead. There was a, a heavy blend of Suspiria. Um, you know, there was like French uh, cinema that was you know morphed into like some of the art house styles that they were just creating here. This film, there's nothing that is like this film. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's awesome. I think that is really cool. For those of you who wonder, this came out in 1977. Um, so I hope that the age, you know, shows itself. But I'm not going to lie. I feel like no matter what time period it is, this is something that I can always just put on and just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, it, there's a... There's a... There's a... There's sadly a bad ending. You know, everybody's dead. Everybody got ate by the, by the cat house. Um, but... There's also the deeper theme of love and how love is, is a memory that's supposed to be last forever. And that's basically the ritual she's doing. She's literally just luring people or just um, unmarried women into this cat house and just eating them. How does that make love last forever? I don't know, but nice try trying to freaking convince me. Um, guys, this film was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. I love the... The Clash almost reminds me of um, Midsummer, where, you know, it's daytime, but you still feel this underlying uh, sense of nervousness and weirdness that you just can't, you just can't put your tongue on, but it tastes weird. So, like, that was happening in the first half of the film, and then it just went full evil dead. And I'm happy it did. There were some hilarious moments in here that I just, like, genuinely, I'm like, oh, my God. There was also the characters were awesome. I liked all the characters, especially, shout out, R.I.P. to Kung Fu. She was awesome, too. This was really, really cool. Um, I, guys, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say to this. This is, like, one of those films where I'm so like taken aback and blown away by not just the filmmaking but the story the characters just the the entire timeline of this thing i definitely would recommend watching it i think it's a really good watch so guys like always <laughs> stay away from cat houses all right stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat